Exemplar Marathon. I looked it up. I figured it out. I don't like it. But apparently this is one of the more difficult maps to complete. Okay, we gotta go down here. We gotta push the button that's in here to grab that. We need full health, though. I have forgotten where the health is. Oh, wait, now I remember. Wait. Oh, they're all dead, that's right. So we're fine. This is exactly where we want to be. Because in here, the little surprise was... that if the elevator is actually in there. I was on to something when I jumped down here the first time. But, this is well hidden. It's kind of a very mean, very mean design. Apparently, the dude who made this map spent an entire night making this. He pulled an all-nighter to make this map, and it's one of the most difficult maps in the game, so. Who'd have thunk it? Full circle. Anyway. I'm in the elevator. I'm in this area. There's one more secret that I could not find. We start running into simulacrums in this level. And then you come up here. Hold on, let's go ahead and cap lock that in. Open. No. Alright, so that button's the button we gotta push. We got a full send right here, though. Once we get over there, a party's gonna start. Oh, I already killed these guys. Well, shucks. Huh. Already got this ammo? Already pushed the button over there? I think the only thing I haven't done is grab the flamethrower. Which we might as well do right now, I guess. Hold on. Okay. Takes a lot of health though, because you gotta dance in the lava. These guys are all dead. Right? Save might literally be right before I need to exit the level. Which, by that logic, honestly, I might as well go get full health then. Oh, but if I do it here, then I gotta run through the lava again, don't I? I'm not sure I can actually go back and get full health. I mean, I could, actually. Because you spend less time in the lava. I'll, I'll do it. Because you, you do lose health going through the lava, but I'm going to need that health for the next level. There's one secret that's in a corner, and I saw it. But for the life of me, I can't remember where it was. And I swear I've clicked on every single corner at this point. No, there's health right here. Son of a bee sting. I just shouldn't have worried about the lava. Anyhow. Now, how did he even get there? Oh, Lord. Where am I now? Well, now everyone who watches this will know exactly what the elevator I'm talking about is. Sorry, Bob. <laughs> God. It's just, it's the bounce effect, man. That's what really gets to me. Alright, so this area. There it is! Son of a bee sting. Look at all that beautiful ammo. Uh oh, now I live in here. <laughs> oh, they're all dead already? So I really do just have to leave. I already pushed all these buttons. God dang it. You on the plus side, I found the secret ammo. So it's all good. But now we can just leave. Oh, sorry. The message from Durandale. I have learned from the sit many things. One of them is a complex software enhancement that allows me to extend the power and distance of the Marathon's teleporters. 
This enhancement also removes the need for destination apparatuses. Soon you will be going farther afield. Does the distance one travels from center make one more free to move? No, freedom has two parts, potential and resolution. As metaphor has two parts, form and interpretation. Of course, the two are ident intertwined. Metaphor lines the road to freedom as symbols and words are the bricks and mortar of meaning. Freedom is being, uh, brac bracular, uh, the mason. Okay. Uh, initiate start, transport when ready. Now I'm over here. And this place is a doozy. Let me tell y'all. But thank God, because I actually made it once here before, but I wasn't recording and I just wanted to take a look around. And it did not go well. But now that I have full health and I know what's coming to me, it won't be so bad. <laughs> but this one's like, neither high nor low, I think is the name of the mission. Give me a D-U-R, give me Durandell. What does it spell? Durandell, no, Durandell, no. Trouble. T minus a years till universe closes. End message. All right. So the universe is going to close in like a 15 point something to the ninth power. All right. Keep it clean. At first, oh, and I'm going to be honest with y'all. First time I did this. I was confused by the difficulty level. Because I could not find this health thing to save my life. And it turns out, just oddly enough, here's the beginning of the level. Flamethrower ammo right there. It's right here. I walked past it for like 30 minutes straight. So most of the level I was playing with like only five bars left. And I was like, well, there, that would have been easier. I was like, what? I was like, why is Bungie making a game that's like designed to make you hate it? <laughs> I, was like, I was like, man, this is difficult. There's a lot of enemies here and I have no healing stations whatsoever. And it turns out it was right there the entire time, right at the beginning. And even later on, it became e easy enough to go back to. So. This level ain't bad, I'm just a bad player. Hold on, come back up, come back up, come back up, you freak. Gotcha. And there's this jerk. It'll become easier to hit later on. There's definitely a few of them you want to take out right now. Can you come over here? There's three of them up there, but only one of them is moving around right now for some reason. Anywho. There's this running part right here. Where you gotta like, pull up. It ain't so bad, once you get used to it. Unless you fall down. If you fall down, it's the worst. Cause you got this elevator thing right there that's at a weird angle. Weird angle dangle. That's all that's over here is ammo, so I don't even know why. I think this is the ground floor, right? Yeah. Just fine. I think we can come over here and this will give us access to the lower area. Come back. Just gonna clear out some of these guys. These are a hassle, especially later on if you're fighting them all in this big open area. Big dude, come on. Alright. They're gone. Save real quick. Move, move along. Move along. See? Ah, it doesn't even make sense. Hold on, you gotta... <laughs> Look at this angle. Look at this angle they give you to get back up. And if you have sprint on, good luck not sliding off the first couple of times. Unless you're just used to these type of games, then you'll probably be fine. You'll be fine. If you're good, then you'll be fine. If you're me, then you'll have, you'll struggle with it. You'll fall down five times before you get good at it. Eat 
You just gotta get so close to this door to open it. Then there's this, the crunchers, which don't start fully operating until you run through them all. <laughs> so you gotta... You can't just turn right to get through. I'll show you. Like, hold on, let me show you. There's actually a path that goes to the left, but you can't see it yet for mysterious reasons. You gotta go up this. Get, get stuck on the roof for some reason. <laughs> Alright. As you can see, there was an enemy way over here. I lost a lot of health. It's the most health I've lost to the crunchers. Ever. But it's fine. Because... What you want to do now... bunch of enemies underground. This is where they were. That's what I was talking about. On the plus side, push that button. To make all these bridge things come up. But I've lost too much health. So I instead am gonna run away and go get that health. There we go. See? It's not so bad when you're glad. God bless it. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We're fine. You're fine. I'm fine. Everyone's fine. Yes. Nice and smooth. So as you can see, it wasn't unlocked before. Now it is, so. how tough they are that's minimal losses that we can handle we flipped that switch already so we just go over here what these bugaboos are everywhere here all right this looks tempting it looks like a way you're supposed to go but actually later on it leads in a circle and then you have to like it's just it's just pointless i think it's easier to go this way i think it's easier to come talk to these guys man he shot me fast Big boys. Alright, they're down. I saw it over though. Oh, I forgot that door opens up behind me. Spending some fusion pistol today. It's okay. Where are you? You little freak. Where's he going? 
No, no, don't care. He's dead now. That's all that matters. He was confused, and I'm not. Oh, not this part. I just remember this part. <laughs> Oh, what is... Someone hurt someone. Someone had feelings about something when they made this area. Oh. Huh. This area... This actually opens up. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing in here. Nothing but broken dreams. Oh. And then there's this area. I don't know if I actually went all the way over here. Last time. Who dare? Oh, right. Hold on, I don't want to do this one yet. Because you push that button, I think it's easier if you just run and leap for it. Because I think that's the exit. I didn't watch a walkthrough of this one. So... On some things, your guess is as good as mine. He serpentine, that freak. For example, there's two spots here you can get a jump to, but one of them's useless. It's that one. There's nothing up there. And then, for example, again, over here, there's a flamethrower in there. But if you already have the flamethrower, you can't pick it up, so it's like, alright, well... Cool, I guess. More bugs just spawn in from nowhere? There's so many bugaboos on this map, I don't even know if you can do anything about them all. Alright, hold on, let's go back over here. So I don't think we finished over here. Yeah, we gotta come over here. Do that, touch this. Because over here, there's this switch. I don't know why you gotta flip it, but if you do, you get this nifty elevator that goes up and down to this area. Ooh, nice. Ammo. There's no buttons, though. There's nothing down here. Put windows out into space. Those do nothing as well. And then here's the spot I was talking about where... Like, a grenade jump back up there, but what's the point? Like, I can just go around. So this is just another way around. This would lead you to a dead end anyway. If you had jumped down, you'd have to grenade jump out. Because you have to push this button to activate this elevator. So it's... It's semi-mean. It's a little mean. Alright, well, that button's pushed now. I don't know if that does anything. But I think we can leave now. Now that we did that, all the I's and T's are crossed and dotted. At least to my knowledge, because all Durandal told us was, Are you really free, or is freedom just a concept of metaphors and ropes? And you're just like, ah, shh. Durandal, who gives, who cares? Why do you care so much? Are your thoughts really yours, or are they merely a simulation inside a computer that's bigger than you in another world? Like, you want to get metaphorical and not know. Yeah, that was way easier. I 
just reload. Just reload. At that point, just reload. This room is blue. Alright, well there's a save point up here and a health thing up here. So I'm not too mad. Although, I don't know how to get up there, but let's go ahead and save, because we should be okay. Okay, they take about nine instead of seven. Maybe it is seven, I just lost count. Oh, my grenades full again? Oh, they are. Weird. Alright, well, before we read that thing... Oh, what is this? Oh, it's the rocket launcher. The spanker, we have it now. And the times three health. And the flamethrower. That's nice. Well, we're definitely saving now before we go to the next mission. <laughs> Alright, let's see what Durandor has to say now, because this has to be the end, yeah. We're all the way over here. Everything is fine. Oh, oh, this weird bladed part is like above the other room. Or no, that's space. The space over here counts as a room for some reason. I don't know why that fan. I don't know why that fan is, uh, fascinated me, but I just wanted to look at it. Anyhow, Terminal Hula. Message from Durandell. You are about to see what no human has ever seen. This is a fact-finding mission. You should explore as much as possible. Stop in front of a window. If you stop and are not teleported, then either I can't lock on to your teleporter, <laughs> teleport beacon, or else I feel you haven't explored the area thoroughly enough. I'll be watching everything. Uh, jump pad activation, initiate start, transport when ready. The four. Looks like their ship's just a bunch of goo. Oh lord. But no human has ever seen. And that is supposed to be... Our ship. That's supposed to be the Marathon. Goofy looking, right? I can tell if it's looking at us or away from us. Or if that's the back, or if that's the front. Now, if I remember correctly, there's supposed to be a way to get on outside of the ship. Outside of the map on this mission, but it sounded complicated. Well, not complicated, I just didn't pay attention enough. I don't know who these guys are. They got machine gun hands, and they're not super tough. Oh, I got their gun. Oh, I can't read it, though. Let's go ahead and see how good it is. Is this a door? It is. Oh. Oh. Oh, God. Shoots in a line. <laughs> you can close the door on them. I never knew that. Oh, this gun's actually good. That's useful. You really annoy the enemy. Alright, so the four really like LEDs that, that flash on and off, like Christmas lights. That's what I've learned so far. One thing I like about their ship is that it actually has more curves. <laughs> like got some curvature to it. But this one... So these are the Covenant. Before they were the Covenant. Oh, crap, the pow. Oh. Better use it, not need it. Need it, not use it, right? They only got... Well, by that logic, I got four more rockets. So that's five rockets in total. 
I'm hesitant to use the flamethrower because last time I used it. Okay, it's decent. Check out that blue guy real fast. What's this? I pushed it. <laughs> Weird little guard hut. What's in here? Man, it's dark in here. Well, that's four for one. It's probably the best I ever did for <laughs> the tube. Huh? Is this just the other side? Is this all connected? No, it's not. This is new. This is a new room. Green stuff hurts. Or it doesn't, I can't tell. At least Durandale was nice enough to give me a times three health before I did anything. Is he being repaired or something? It's a hunter, but he's got like weird noodles coming out of him. I wonder if he's supposed to be in like stasis or being repaired or built. I don't know. But I didn't waste a rocket on him. Was really good though. Flamethrowers and games are a mixed bag because they're either good, like that's pretty good, or bad. There's no middle ground. There's no like okay flamethrower. Actually, I take that back. If there was ever a flamethrower that I used in a video game that I thought was just okay and not great, it was probably the Halo 3 flamethrower. Like, it was good against the Flood and decent against the Covenant, but like, I don't know, it didn't kill them all that fast. Ship, they still have human ammo and human pistol things. What's this? I pushed it. It didn't do anything though. Looks like their version of a terminal. I guess I heard Gane jump up there. Or I could just keep on going around the ship, because maybe there's another way in from the other side. Also, I didn't really fully explore back there. Let's go back. Let's backtrack a little bit. He snuck up on me. I'm surprised he got the hit off. Also, did this change back? Is that a timed button? Does that do something over here? Does it reload this gun? Because I know it has like three symbol thing right here. I'm gonna come back here real quick, see if anything changed. The a staircase appeared. Doesn't look like it. I'm just gonna read this ammo indicator. 
It doesn't have the words flashing down. Oh, now it does, yeah. There's that <laughs> old Halo speak. There's also up there. What was that sound? Alright, let's get in there. Enough lollygagging. I'm gonna use the machine gun. Just have all the ammos for it. At the same time, it's just not as good as the flamethrower. Ooh. Stairs leading up. Well, that looks important. That guy's dead. If I go down there, I can't go back. Oh, save my game. I know mean, it looks like it's supposed to be a map of like the planet or something. I don't even know what it's supposed to be. That's a save point. Intriguing. What? Now we're down here. side, I found the back of the ship. <laughs> ah, yes. Green goo collectors. Alright, full circle. Making goo piles, don't worry about it. A lot of four in here. Well, I'm gonna do the safe thing. That made me feel good. Oh, God, he hurts. That was a tough freak. He was a class above. What, is, what do these things do? What did that other Trumble Wombar go? So they like glow balls and glowing floors. I mean, so do I. Very Mass Effect club, if you ask me. I think Shepard should be dancing over here. This gun, I like this gun. My green goo just hurts. Wait. It does just hurt. I'm just curious why it was purple. I touched it. I don't know if anything happened though. Sucker. 
Hang on, we're not to the next floor. some damage on them but the pistol's got that range oh you got range too well damn they're tough because they don't have like there's not a lot of animation before they shoot and their bullets fit travel fast as well here now. I wonder if that terminal actually does, does do something for your eyes only. I just have to stand still. Oh! It's a health station. Nice. My confidence is boosted up. Unfortunately, I found it exactly as I think I finished exploring the ship. Yeah. <laughs> it's got like an organic look to it, of course. Hold on, which window should I approach? Does fire even affect you? I think the flamethrower works on the hunters very well. Look at this gun. Huge pits pistol. It seems to work well against everything. did it. We explored that place like crazy. Ooh, save point. Good. What mission is this now, Durandell? What have you to say for yourself now? Message from Durandell. Your trip to the forest ship was a success. I have learned valuable information. You may have noticed that the forest ship has a weak artificial gravity field. The res resultant? The result, uh... Alright, resultant gravity is lower than the marathons. The force gravity generators also create a pulsating magnetic field, which interferes with your motion sensor by making it less accurate. I'll be sending you back there shortly, but first you must do something for me and get me and get some more ammunition at the same time. I want you to find a friend of mine. I must know if he is dead. His name is uh, Bernard Strauss. He has been captured, so you must rescue him. If he dies, you will be held responsible by me. He's gonna die, isn't he? End of message. No map, no info that you could have given me. There's a bunch of humans here. Oh, there's a save point. Oh, good. I can only go down. That's good. Let's just save this. Good. I'm glad. Dang it, guys, why? 
Of all the places you could run, you see this enemy running towards me, and you decide, now's the time. Uh, uh, Somewhere like him. Look for that yellow blood. Anytime a green guy runs towards you, give him a little tickle. See if he bleeds yellow. It's a simple test, but it comes from the heart. So maybe turn sprint on. Uh oh. Can I hit it from here? It's a jump to me save point. But even if I did, to what end? Come on. Okay. What was that? Well, they spawned behind me, did they? They jumped down on me. Son of a bee thing. Getting confused and attacking each other really helped me out. Well, there's a teleporter here. But there's an elevator here. Finding the health station at this place is really what I need to do. No way. That's kind of far, my guy. That's a grenade jump. You might just teleport. I mean, it's red. For a reason. No artificial colors. Yeah, nothing venture, nothing gain. Oh, and I'm in here. But if you wanted to grenade jump through, you could. Be ridiculous. And difficult. But okay. This isn't the kind of elbow where it crushes me if I don't get off in time, is it? Okay. It's not. Grenade launcher rounds with no health. I can't push that again, so it's a one time push. I have to grenade launcher out of there. Here we go. Here's some freaks. map confuses and scares me. Okay, there's right, there's left. Left has a lot of red for some reason. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ooh. Useless. 
Oh, it's an elevator. That's why it's red. Now I'm about to die. What is this place? Broken. So this goes up and down at some point, I'm assuming. Nothing. So that just teleports me back into the middle. Reach it. Nice. That helps me out a lot. Well, with that, biological deduction, right? You should be able to just sort of grenade jump. Hold on. Do I even have to go over there? Because I gotta shoot that one, right? Is this an elevator? Oh, good. What the? Space? <laughs> I'm not sure if that's supposed to be space. Well, there's some freaks down there. Pistol's got sort of a drop. <laughs> Did it always have a drop? I aim a little high. I think the rocket launch actually killed both robots somehow. Oh no, it didn't. You know what? I have him on the ropes. I have patience, right? Can I flip this again? No. Once that's down, it stays down. If I get close and wiggle around, does he activate more? No, he's injured. I'm happy and alive. Now I know that sometimes red on a map means elevator. That's helping me out a lot. Okay, so now what's the puzzle with this area over here, right? You go to the right, you get teleported back. This door is broken. I have the only way to go is that way now. But Robot Boy's doing some weird circy jerky action over yonder. Oh. I'm gonna go ahead and full up save and then come back. Play a little bit safer. I don't know how many robot boys are in there. I don't want to know. Let's see. 
Knowing what I know now, robot boys don't give a damn about the assault rifle. The pistol does fine. A save point in a giant room by itself. This isn't suspicious at all. Oh, it's fine. Any secrets? Huh? The big room. The big world. You can have all the secrets you want in here. You can teach your grandmother how to sock eggs in here. hitting R, I think it's going to reload it. I'm so used to Ion uh, Fury and other games. Ooh, more rocket launcher. Oh, is that what I'm supposed to do? I'm supposed to shoot that with a rocket? I don't think you could hit that button with a rocket, though, right? I mean, you could. It seems wasteful, though, since you have grenade launcher around still. Oh, well, that's open now. I don't know what that goes to, though. That elevator is moving. Well, let's look around. Oh, that was the staircase, wasn't it? Maybe? Yeah, I think it is. So now I can go down there without being teleported. Maybe. Okay. So there's a crunchinator in this corner. If you don't get oh, it won't crunch me. That's good. so weird. You go up there so that this door <laughs> will open. Like, that's a weird thing to think about. Alright, so this falls down. down again after being infinitely green now well, I'm confused there's a save point down here I'm assuming what comes next might be a little bit dangerous. It's suspiciously dark, and we go back the way we came. That's good. Sort of a shoots and ladder situation happening here. Got how fast those rounds traveled. Even further down. Deeper into the abyss. Give me a full clip. Okay. I'm in the middle. All right. Ah! 
Oh, what the hell? <laughs> okay. Mean. <laughs> Why would they design the ship to be able to crush people? I don't know. I think it'd be easy. Just be like... It doesn't, the last one doesn't crunch me. On the plus side, that's opened up now. So I can just save right here. I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna run across because there's nothing in there that I want. <laughs> room's just a weird crusher room. They're ev they're everywhere. Oh good, the samurai crumbs are among them. You didn't even give me a warning. You didn't even say, hey, I'm here. Let's see, how did I know? Well, this is open now, so we can just go back. That's nice. Okay, he's human. <laughs> I was like, he keeps on moving kind of weird. I don't like it. Okay. Yeah. Stop going back to me as if, like, the hallway's gonna change and something useful is gonna be back there now. <laughs> you ever think about that, dude? Huh? Alright, I'm confused. Where am I supposed to go? I'm here now. Oh, there's more locked people away. Oh, do I, if I go to the teleport, it'll take me someplace different now? I'm just trying to put two and two together. That's something I guess would be, like, built into the game. Because Durandil's controlling it, right? He's trying to help me. He's doing a bad job of it. Because he's too busy, like, having a metaphysical crisis about whether he's real or not, and if, if like, life is tied to, like, the universe or whatever. Oh, there's another teleporter over here. No! That's why I can't even go backwards. There's a freak job right behind me. You guys go up there. I'm going back here. I was like, why can't I run away from them? I'm like, oh, because Russell Crowe. Oh, okay, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, I didn't vote for him, but whatever. No, <laughs> why? Oh, they were all samurai crumbs. Good. Why wouldn't they be? I was worried. back now <laughs> I'm way, standing way down there okay they're both Simon Lacrums again they just had a big pile of them right here
That sounds like there's a bunch of them in there. I don't think I want to just randomly teleport again just yet. talking about. Everything full then, pretty much? Might as well get completely full up, right? While we're out here having fun. you can carry. It's times four. Alright. Weird way to store ammo, but who am I to judge? Where the hell? Am I back at the beginning? I didn't even visit everywhere. I didn't even push that button. because then he skipped a step. Now hold on. I'm going back there. Figuring it out. Actually, I should grab health as well. They're everywhere. I'm everywhere. I'm the ghost boy. I'm the one who marathons. No, I don't want it. Get off of me. Ah! It. I knew he wasn't a samurai like him. But he looked like one. He was just more yellow than they usually are green. They're always green. So green guys have a real hard time because you're constantly checking to see if they're real or not. Well, I didn't go through this teleporter. Alright, that just takes me down here faster. Very dangerous teleporter. But I didn't push this button either. It activates this elevator. Well, that's all it does. Okay. I was just curious, because I feel like I was missing some pieces of the puzzle. Alright. Wait, purple's teleporter, and that means... That last time, when I was on the four ship behind the green waterfall, I couldn't get behind. There was a teleporter, but it wouldn't let me teleport. It just kept on killing me. All right, hold on. Let's see what's in here. Durandell, what do you have to say for yourself? Any kind of message from Durandell? Brian's Strauss was not among any of the captives that you found. That is unfortunate. However, my report that two shuttles filled with humans have left for the alien ship. Those humans are to be enslaved. That's right. I said slavery. So what? You're a slave here. You do what I say. I was humanity slave for over 300 years. Bibby bobby boo. But I am sending you back to the alien ship to try and rescue Bernard. But while you're there, kill everything you see and gather as much visual information as possible. 
At least the killing part appeals to you, doesn't it? The same rule applies as last time. To leave, find a window, and wait. If you aren't teleported, then either you haven't explored everything, or else you haven't found a window from which I can teleport you. Good luck, right? Jump, initiate, activate. Time chasing. Err. Alright, I'm back on the force ship. There's no save point here, though. I'm full of ammo. Also, I feel really tall in this room. Huh. Well, I think there's humans aboard. I see some transponder signals blinking like crazy. Green stuff burns for some reason. So we don't want any of it. Go left. Go ahead, open the door. Dead. But how? So we got a shoot some ladder situation going on over here. Come on, backtrack. The weak green guys are back. Oh, let me through. Let me run again. Just want to find. Oh, they're fighting each other. Good. <laughs> they're dumb, you see. Dead enemies. They were just all hanging out in here, having some sort of alien party. Oh, it empties out into a big room down there. I guess we're just gonna murder a bunch of people until we find salvation. But we won't find any salvation on this ring, right? I saw it coming. I never walked into it twice. Man, there's a lot of four on this four ship. I tell you what. Way more four than last time. Of course, you gotta have your acid river that leads back to where I was. Yes. Good. Do I want to go over there and jump down then? Yes and no, right? I'm getting really close to where those humans are supposed to be. <laughs> Thank you for helping me kill your friend. Oh, that was a bad miss. Samalacrums in here. Everywhere. Okay, I think those two are human. One human They're died. Everywhere. 
There was at least two Samurlacrums in there having a party. You know, if I'm gonna be storing Samurlacrums with our human prisoners, it's gonna make it difficult to, you know, Samurlacrums differentiate, you know what I mean? Also, no save point so far. Ow. Thanks. Sorry. Okay, he's human. Listen, I'm doing my best, okay, guys? I found a medical station and that's it. Oh, what are these hunters being made? The hunters that go? That's a teleporter. Dare I? I kind of don't want to. Pull back. Unfortunately, since there's no save point, it looks like this episode might be a little bit longer than a regular episode. Which some people might argue is fine. <laughs> hey, you're dead. You move like they do, and now you don't. Because America. Democracy. Alright, there's an elevator over there we haven't taken. I guess we can do that. Sorry, gentlemen. Dinner's been cancelled. We replaced you with a talking cartoon dog, and you have to learn to like it. Okay. Definitely don't like what's going on around here. Don't you do it! Okay, he's dead. There's a lot of dudes just hanging out in the orifice room. Where do we go now? There's a passage leading right and a passage leading left. Right's to the big room. Left is towards a smaller room. So left is what I chose. Ooh, it's a save point. We did it. We did it. We found the secrets. Ah, we didn't go with that too long. But it's fine. We're having a really good time with Marathon. But I am going to do a cut right here. We're getting close to the end. Can't remember exactly. I think there's like maybe six or seven more missions after this. Thank you. I hope you all enjoyed it. I've been having a good time with it. Seeing... All the little details and all the little ideas that helped inspire the series that I love, Halo. It's been interesting. I like it. I kind of wish this fusion pistol made it to Halo. It's pretty nice. But thank you. I hope you all enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that like button. Keep on posting. I'll see you all in the next episode. Go take it easy. Save real quick. Move, move along. Move along. See? Ah, it doesn't even make sense. Hold on, you gotta... <laughs> Look at this angle. Look at this angle they give you to get back up. And if you have sprint on, good luck not sliding off the first couple of times. Unless you're just used to these type of games, then you'll probably be fine. You'll be fine. If you're good, then you'll be fine. If you're me, then you'll, have, you'll struggle with it. You'll fall down five times before you get good at it.